Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Blackwater Woodworks and CNC. Uh, I've been doing lots of projects. I just have not had time to get videos put together. Um, but today I wanted to show you guys how I'm doing these maps on the CNC machine. <clears throat> So I like this site, Snazzy Maps, uh, because this makes it easy to grab a map. And so uh, what I'll do is come in here and build a map. <clears throat> this always starts out with New York. Uh, as the default, but what you can do is come in, um, come down to location, and you can search for a location. For this map, I did the French Quarter. So we just put uh, New Orleans in here. <clears throat> and you get New Orleans, all right? <clears throat> so I wanted to come in and just get the quarter. Uh, so we zoom in. And I wanted some of uh, the Mississippi in here. And so I'll zoom out about this big. <clears throat> I believe I put Jackson Square as the very center here. You can see your uh, crosshairs right here. <clears throat> and then I want to go into styles and what I'm going to do is uh, roads only first <clears throat> and I've been using this one here roads only by John <clears throat> because they're all black this is gonna make it easier once we put this screen grab into our uh, Vectric software. So I'll click that, <clears throat> and this gets me ro roads only. Okay. Uh, apply style. <clears throat> and now what I want to do is go full screen. And I'm just going to click the, the screen grab button on my <clears throat> excuse me windows laptop it's the print screen button and boom that'll save to uh my screen share uh my screenshot folder okay so i got that i don't move this map at all i'm gonna go back into my styles and i'm gonna search for water only And again, I want the solid black. This one should work just fine. Okay. And again, I will go full screen. Wait for that little tab to disappear. And again, I hit print screen. And those will be saved. Okay. So we can get out of that <clears throat> and open up Vectric. However big you want this thing, I, I believe for mine I did 16 by 16 uh, on a three quarter inch piece of Baltic birch plywood. 
Okay, and then you've got bitmaps from your screen shares. Okay, uh, so let's. <clears throat> Which ones these they were? There we go. <clears throat> And so I'll load my bitmaps into here, and then easy in in the Vectric is we'll just trace a bitmap. I usually do tight fit here. Uh, black and white, obviously. And this works great. So apply that, close that, <clears throat> and now I can hide. Uh, T21 Walnut Street, Clarksburg, I'm letting assistance. Company 21 has an alert of authority, ambulance 19, 1152. Hide my bitmap layer. And I'm going to just erase a bunch of stuff that's. Uh, <clears throat> not needed. Sure you have to ungroup just so you get the dotted body. lines. If you need to leave the hospital in a hurry for any reason, you're going to have to get a room back. Highlight and delete. Uh, two vehicles waiting to get no entry, walking to get the hospital. Highlight and delete. Huh. Highlight and delete. It's working for Okay. So that took care of the water right there. We could actually cut this out as is um, with just a pocket. So highlight that <clears throat> pocket. Uh, we'll change this to a quarter inch end mill. Uh, okay, select, get rid of this. We'll do a depth of a tenth. Point one inch. Okay. I will usually raster uh, along the grain, depending on what I'm using here. If it was a panel board, pine, or whatever, I like to go with the grain. You get less uh, ridges if your machine isn't trimmed just perfectly. And so I can calculate this. Uh, looks like I'll need since I missed. These little bits, I'm going to have to add some smaller cutters. So let's go with a eighth inch end mill. <clears throat> and I would assume we're going to have to add a sixteenth inch end mill too. So what you're going to have is your bitmap of your streets in here. And we're going to trace those the same way we trace the water. And in order to do a pocket, we're going to have to draw a box <clears throat> around the outside to close all these streets off. Otherwise, you're going to have open vectors everywhere. Okay. And so when we look at these, we used, I did a cut depth of 0.2 inch, and this got me a better... Uh, A better tool path for my water over here in the park. Okay. And the Mississippi River here. So we can preview selected tool paths. And I just colored them to show. And we get our water cut out. <clears throat> now, if we look at the V carve, I used a V carve for uh, my streets because I used a V bit, used a 90 degree at a 0.125, one eighth of an inch flat depth, so they didn't go too deep. 
and we can preview that toolpath. And again, I colored this in black just for uh, clarity. <clears throat> and this is what you end up with. For the profile, I wanted to label this. I, I tried to design a, a label that was as close to the actual street signs in the French Quarter as I could. So I did a profile toolpath here with a 0 0.100 inch cut depth and another and the 90 degree bit. Very simple, just a rectangle with radius corners, and we can. Preview that, and you basically got a border of the streets on. And then I designed uh, some flourishes and uh, the the font as close as I could to the actual street signs. And I did another V carve for that, and that was also a ninety degree bit with no flat depth. And so if we preview that you end up with something that looks very similar to the street signs in the quarter. And if you're not familiar with New Orleans, basically the quarter is in between this rectangle here out to the river. And again, this is on a three quarter inch piece of just Baltic birch plywood uh, with my goal to be to, to paint these, all the streets would be painted and the water is going to be blue resin okay it's so pretty simple not too difficult didn't take very long uh closing off all these vectors on the streets does take a little uh, doing but you just draw a box and then you can use your snip tool your scissors over here uh, because you would have a, ve a closed vector all the way around in a square um, and then you come in with your snip tool and you're going to just snip, 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 snip all of these uh, openings. So, yeah, it does take a little time. That may not be the best way to do it. I'm not even sure. I am totally self-taught on all this. So I am every time I use the software, I find some tips and tricks that make things a little bit easier and a little bit faster. <clears throat> so, uh I did try to separate everything into different layers, which makes it a lot easier. And so with all my layers turned on, here's what you look like uh, with all your vectors closed and ready to uh, cut. Okay, so that's about it for that. We throw the board on the CNC and we'll show you that here in just a minute. So while this is cutting, I just wanted to explain a little bit. I'll, I'll cut the street toolpaths first, and then I'll put a, a light coat of shellac, rattle can shellac, on the whole thing. And what I wanted to do is follow that up with rattle can black, just basically over the entire surface there. And then I'll come back and very lightly sand and that leaves me a nice distressed look it, but the all the toolpath areas all the streets and the sign are all nice and dark black uh, what i did not film was the cutting of the water toolpaths but same same deal just run your toolpaths once i have those toolpaths finished then I mix up my resin uh, with some metal flake blue and I'll pull, pour the resin and I, I leave that alone for 72 hours or so. If I need to, I'll sand the resin uh, so it's nice and shiny and smooth and we'll go from there. With this one, I created a uh, just a pine frame with a rabbit and 45s on the corners, and then I cut a piece of glass to encase the whole thing, just glued that frame on, and that, that gives it a much nicer finished look. So anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it.
If it was helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching.